Hello World. 2014 was another year where gamers were scapegoated yet again for the ills of society. From school shootings to campus death threats, the popular press created moral panic, painting gamers as rage-fueled malcontents, intent on harassing women and keeping gaming in the dark ages. Jack Thompson, it seemed, was back. In the last months of 2014 we have borne witness to a worldwide inquisition on gamers by mainstream media. Yet, for all the blame heaped on gamers, the elephant in the room is the statistical fact that the bulk of online harassment has come, not from a large group of gamers, but from a small group of anti-gamers. There has been a media blackout on this inconvenient truth. So, before we go any further, let's listen to what the anti-gamers had to say about gamers. So, no answer then? Really proving my point that all gamers should and will be executed. If gamer is a race, then it's time for another holocaust. Turn on your favorite song, take a gun, load it, put it in your mouth, cry a little, pull the trigger, make us smile. If we could get a hashtag to mobilize the jocks, we could eradicate gamers once and for all. Proposal, kill all gamers, let the bodies rot and use the bots to construct an enormous gate. If only the gamers had some kind of regular convention where we could lock all the fire escapes and set fire to the building. If I ever have a kid who is a gamer, I will kill him. I will drown him in the bath. No one cares, gamer trash. Go shoot up some schools, lonely boy. You aren't real gamers, you little fucks. You are toxic waste. You do nothing but suck the good out of the industry. Gamers should be shot. Kill all dumbbells. I think chemical weapon stealers have a more tolerable consumer base than video games. I am truly embarrassed for this industry. Regardless of race, creed, gender or religion, you can still play games and therefore still be garbage. Disappointment to friends, family, smug, misogynist clown child. I made a Chrome extension that changes the word gamer to you little shits. No, I don't play video games. Video games are for babies and fucking loser nerds. While the anti-gamer side publicly wraps itself in the flag of equal rights for women and estranged minorities, their real-world words and actions seem quite the opposite. In August of 2014 some gamers organized around the hashtag Gamergate while some female and minority gamers rallied around the hashtag NotYourShield. They stood for one thing, ethics and games journalism. Now let's hear how the anti-gamers treated the women and minorities of Not Your Shield. I hope your windows are secure. You're just a gender traitor. Wonder what would happen if I posted your personal info online. Oh wow I bet you're just a misogynist neckbeard posing as a woman. My father fucking almost killed me while raping me. I'll do that same thing to every single woman supporting Gamergate. I said that was the start of the hashtag. Obviously plenty of women and minorities are stupid enough to join in. You are a trainee posing as a woman. Just another sick Gamergate supporter. All you Gamergaters should be castrated. You knew exactly what you were doing. You made your Gamergate bed, now get fucked in it. Suck my dick bitch. Clearly you're too fucking stupid to do anything else. Your support of Gamergate is laughable. You're nothing but a blow-up doll for these fat neckbeards to jerk themselves off to while whining about ethics. You sicken me. But I will rape you before and come in your face. I will kill you too if you go to the event. Well, you already know you are a cunt. So don't let me stop you now. I call for mandatory abortions on all pro gamergate women. How fucking stupid are you to have to side with those men? Who you raped during your childhood? Wow, really? I really liked your art, but I can't believe you'd associate yourself with some dumbass movement run by a bunch of whiny man babies. You're a fucking disgrace to women and the women's movement, and I hope half of those men you seem to worship and suck up to so much will beat the shit out of you so you can come to your senses. 
Be glad that your father is dead so he didn't get to see how much of a cunt his daughter became. If your father was alive Allison I'd punch him so fucking hard in the balls he would have another cunt spawn from his sperm. Yeah, I know where you live too. Maple View Drive. I'm gonna wait outside your house till you leave and blow out your brain. I'm gonna stab you multiple times over if you don't stop targeting defenseless women. I'll change my opinion if you show me your tits babe. Those who support Gamergate and not your shield deserve to be killed and or raped by a dog, then a porcupine. You fucking slut. You should shut your whore damn mouth about Gamergate. You're going against your own goddamn kind. You're so fucking stupid. Know that we know you and where you live. Mexico. I have your full address and if you don't stop your BS I will release it. Have fun with the cartels you slut. I hope they rape you good so you know your fucking place. Then you can believe feminism now. Check out this account held by a white boy. Hey Loey. I hope you end up going through the same thing. In fact, I hope someone rapes you like they did me, too. Fuck. You. The dumb brown people are also lead by a white guy named Vuk. Brown people are too stupid to leave themselves, I guess. On reflection I just spent the day fucking with teens and damaged or neurotypical people. Productive and enriching use of my time. Transvestites like you, who pose as women, should be shot in the head. You disgust me. But I will rape you before and come in your ugly face. I will kill you too if you go to the event. Gamers are no different than house niggers during slavery. Gamergate people saying it's not about misogyny sound a lot like peaceful Muslims saying it's not about terrorism. You need new friends. Yo nigga, you may not know it, but you're fighting for an anti-nigger movement. You're fighting against yourself, idiot. If you support Gamergate I do not care if you are a rape victim. I'm not saying you deserved it, or it was your fault, I am saying you're a terrible person regardless and I hate you to the point that I don't care. Anime and Japanese culture are deeply misogynistic. Blocked. It's here motherfuckers. Suck my dick, choke on it. How does it feel to internalize your own misogyny and put out for needless likes and clicks for a bunch of whiny neckbeard man babies? You and your family deserve to be burned alive. Go fuck yourself Gamergate whore. How does it feel to be sucking on the Gamergate? Woman hating cock you fucking slut. Get AIDS and die. Now we come to the group that the anti gamers blame for pretty much everything men, specifically white men. The anti gamer moral crusaders are forever trying to shame men for something they call male privilege. Privilege is a modern-day caste system concocted to divide people by things beyond their control such as skin color, race and gender. But that is a discussion for another video. Let's hear anti-gamer speak for itself on the subject of men. This is rude but speaking for myself only I think it, it would be funny to play piñata with the bodies of white straight men who hung themselves. Gamergate is a prime example of why we need to kill all men. Truly men need to leave games forever. Here's one, I'm gonna come to your house and punch you right in your balls. Cry about it white man, ticking Caucasian time bomb. Present virgin, future murderer. Can we just cut the bullshit and start a new games industry where cis men literally are not allowed in? Gaming culture arose due to an excess of men. We need to reduce the male population via selective abortion. Yeah, it's whiny white cis scum azoji nerds and the jerk people of color and women who support and enable them. Only 25.9% of the panelists on X have been men. That's because someone and I take insolent pleasure in misandry. There's no such thing as sexism against men, you're right. Gamers letting their voices be heard fills me with rage. Not a coincidence it's always men and boys committing mass shootings. The pattern is connected to ideas of toxic masculinity in our culture. Manhood, not guns or mental illness should be central in Newtown shooting. The greatest target in this debacle is the diverse group of gamers that rally around the Gamergate hashtag. Despite the fact that Gamergate forums have strict rules condemning doxxing, censorship, 
exclusion, harassment and abuse, a game critic and the press publicly accused Gamergate of being behind two of most publicized harassment incidents of 2014. There was no evidence whatsoever that Gamergate was involved. The threats themselves didn't mention video games, gamers or Gamergate. But the story playing again and again around the world was that Gamergate was behind these threats. Fact checking, apparently, was dead. On Twitter and elsewhere, anti-gamer vigilantes, the private armies of a handful of popular anti-gamer personalities, began attacks on Gamergate and not your shield supporters. Let's hear what they had to say. If anyone deserves to take a police issue bullet to the chest, it's the Gamergate subhumans. Why can't these trigger happy redneck white cops target gamer gate shitbags instead of black people? So many weak old accounts trying to sound like civil rights pioneers. Which is funny considering gamers aren't even people. Toilet given human form. I have not dehumanized any human being. Stop erroneously referring to gamer gate as human beings. It's not true. If you're an indie developer and you are supporting gamer gate, Watch what you say. Your future business is at stake. I just cancelled a project you didn't even know about. And another. And another. I encourage you not to support this game, since it was developed by the very pro Gamer Gate. If anyone supporting Gamer Gate was ever bullied as a child, congratulations. You deserved it. If Joss Whedon and Patton Oswalt have chimed in, maybe it's time to castrate these Gamergate degenerates. Yo Isis, we'll send you all the Jurgens lotion investing Gamergaters and you can cut their heads off on live TV. Anyway, I'm going to bed. Gamergate supporters, I hope you all die of bone cancer. Is it a bad thing that I want to just pile everyone actively involved in the Gamergate debacle into a stadium and carpet bomb it? What I imagine all of the Gamergate sticks look like. It's alright, Flizz. No girl will ever fuck you. Gamergate is like a cancerous tumor. It grows and spreads and it will not stop until it is taken out. Forcefully. I'm pretty sure this whole movement would come to a standstill if someone dies from all this drama. That depends. Who's the most vocal? Going to go pick up my gun now. After I'm through, you won't need a casket. I've had it up to here with Gamergate. I am going to murder every gamer I see with my fists and legs. It ends here. If Gamergate is a thing to you, you are a sad pathetic little shit whose mothers are likely ashamed they brought you into the world. Friendly reminder that you are on the wrong side of history and you will not be tolerated any longer stop what you're doing don't make me dig deeper this won't end well for you if you continue to i guess somebody needs to make you fear for your physical safety then entitled sheltered piss baby dumpster escapee please return fuck you self-hating bitch gamergate is nothing but ugly virgin trash male or female you are all social rejects. The address is correct. I've got plans for you. I have your family's address too. You think I won't hurt innocent people? I truly don't give a shit. You'll see this soon. Maybe I need to hack off the dick of yours since you hate women so much. You won't be needing it. Bye, Eric. Where can I get some of that Russian nerve gas in time for the next pack? I enjoy the idea of you being dragged about the street with a noose around your neck, you half-wit sack of shit. Good night, internet. Remember, if you support Gamergate then you're worthless. Do your families a favor and kill yourselves. I wish video games was a building so I could burn it down with all you people in it. Bullying is actually good, provided that the bullying in question is over being a piece of garbage with bad opinions. I'm going to kill each and every Gamergate person myself if they keep this up. This isn't a threat, it's a warning. I know you are you fucking little masturbator. You're too much of a little pussy to use his own name on the internet. You're a fucking joke who can't cut his own wrist. If you cut your wrist people would care about you. I wonder what your Facebook friends would say if you were to get hurt. 
I wonder what your Tumblr followers would say. I am not apologizing for my belief that Gamergate supporters should be skinned alive and have their teeth torn out by their roots. I'm the one who made the death threats toward Gamergate. Because the world would be better off if they all slid into a volcano. Gamergate is a consumer revolt composed of men, women, trans, gay, straight, democrat, republican, libertarians, feminists, minorities, believers and atheists. The popular press is selling the conspiracy theory. This diverse group of people are using ethics and journalism as a cover for harassing a handful of women. The press ignores the fact that most Gamergate participants are largely equity feminists. Politically centered they make the promotion of women in games and game diversity a cornerstone of their movement. The press's character assassination of Gamergate continues without evidence and without any moral self-reflection on their part. Meanwhile, the anti-gamer leaders embraced the very thing they originally despised, Doxxing. The anti-gamers took Doxxing to a whole new level and began a campaign aimed at getting Gamergate supporters fired from their jobs. They tried to put Gamergate female gamer developers out of business by libeling them and organizing boycotts of their games. They succeeded, and inevitably numerous minorities and women began to find themselves unemployed. They hacked a charity site designed to promote women. Some had emergency services called to their homes, called swatting. The FBI became involved. Even the anti-gamer agitators that were pro Doxxing were alarmed by the sheer scope and ferocity of the Doxxing from the anti-gamer side. Neutral journalists that gave Gamergate attention were publicly attacked as leaders of a woman-hating mob or ordering hit pieces. This message was made very clear to other journalists considering giving Gamergate a voice. Be anti-Gamergate, or face the consequences. But you live with grandparents, dogs named Angel and Elvis, and fat whore girlfriend who you probably guilt into staying. We'll be contacting your employer on Monday to discuss your failure to abide by SBJ. Those who agree with gamers are basically signing their own death certificates. Let's expose their personal info. Have you guys heard about XXX? He's a racist sexist gamer gator who's been exposed and fired don't hire him. Let this be a warning. Don't fuck with Zoe or Anita anymore or this list grows. But I would definitely agree that those that know better should be blackballed for being in a hate group. Seriously, I need to see teams of allies counter-organizing and getting people fired. I finished doxing all the Gamergate IPs you sent me. I'm ready to start calling employers, dumping them. Despite the fact that the entire world seemed to be taking a giant shit on Gamergate, Gamergate victories have been impressive. Gamergate, using old-fashioned letter writing, has already accomplished many of its goals. Advertisers have withdrawn their dollars from offensive websites and caused those sites to reorganize and rethink their policies. Privacy and disclosure policies have been updated. Even the sites that ridicule Gamergate as being for ethics and journalism have updated their ethics policies and banned journalists from financially supporting the game developers they review. The Federal Trade Commission credited Gamergate with enforcing numerous online disclosure laws. Numerous charities have been funded including those that promote women in gaming. New gaming sites with better ethics have popped up and received support from Gamergate. Open debates on issues important to gamers appeared on non-media sites such as Hitbox.tv and YouTube. Conclusion So where does this leave us? Gamergate is not a black and white story. There are many bad actors involved, trolls, anti-feminists, misandrists, opportunists, white knights, gender and identity radicals and individuals eager to overreact to any allegations that we're leaders might make. In an online war anyone can use the hashtag for good or for ill. Anyone can make postings on anonymous message boards to make your opposition look bad. 
it is difficult to understand what a group stands without consulting either a group's public forums or the group's leaders. For this reason Gamergate produced a press dossier. The mainstream media have either refused to read it or simply ignored it. Gamers are a uniquely resilient breed of people. Gamergate will persist until either the status quo addresses the corruption or enough alternatives exist to counter that corruption. Even then it may live on as a watchdog organization. There are a lot of people saying very ugly things online. They may be individuals acting alone or they may be acting as part of a group. Gamergate and Not Your Shield are not one of those groups. Try to remember that hate is not the religion of the internet. Freedom is. That freedom was hard won and we pay a steep price to keep it. But, god damn it, it's worth it. Thank you for listening. Good living and good gaming and peace, prosperity to all.